the main message of our work is that when we are comparing the progression of COVID-19 between countries in the hope of identifying the risks of mitigating uh, future outbreaks, we should always take into account the pre-existing country characteristics. We need to take into account the social, economic, and environmental coverage. And what we found that was surprising to us was that uh, the use of social media to organize offline action tend to have a negative impact on the spread of COVID-19. We found out that those conspiracy theories were being spread in social media and instead increased the spread of COVID-19 instead of reducing it. So what we found out, if you have a small uh, gene inequality, the spreading rate was very low. As an intermediate level of gene inequality gave us a high spreading rate. And as we increase the gene inequality and it go higher, then the spreading rate went down lower. The gene inequality, the number of uh, youth in a country play a role. The use of social media to organize offline action play a very strong role in our results. And the number of people living in a city, an urban area play a very strong role in our results. As we move ahead, and looking at future uh, outbreak of COVID-19, when we look at the pre, uh, government intervention policies, we always need to pay attention to the pre-existing country characteristics. By pre-existing, I mean all the social, demographic, uh, and climatic variables of a particular country vis-a-vis uh, -vis COVID-19, because these variables had a great role in the trajectory that COVID took in different countries.